everybody, Crafty Mountain Gal here. Oops, just got in from shoveling. So, um, today's prompt is a person who is important to you. And the first thing that comes to mind is my husband. Um, he actually got my, as Jim put it, my chariot fixed. Uh, had something to do with the battery terminals, just had to give them a good scrub, and everything's okay, hopefully. And yeah, it's my little truck is a um, <laughs> a little '88 Chevy pickup. I've had it since I was 17. My dad gave it to me. Uh, yeah, I don't. I I've had her since high school, so um, kind of hard to let go if something does go kaput. You know, fix one thing at a time. Oh well. Um, okay, so my husband, I guess, and that's kind of a go-to response. If I dig a little deeper, um, yes, I would say my parents. Uh, but I think actually. even know if I want to say this. Um, I don't want to hurt feelings. Anyway, <clears throat> I think one of the most important people in my whole life is actually my birth mother. Um, she gave me up when I was three and gave her, or gave me, to her father, uh, which became my father. And um, yeah, I, I view her as my sister, not my natural mother usually, but if she hadn't had the foresight to do that, I would have had a completely different life. So I think she uh, she made the most, the best decision for her to continue on with her life without a baby in tow. and. Um, mom and dad, that I call, um, they gave me a spectacular childhood. Uh, I had a little bit of everything, traveled a lot. Um, yeah, I would, I just would have had a completely different life if, if she hadn't given me up. So, I have to thank her for that. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. If I talk too much more about it, it'll bring up tears. So I don't want to do that. Um. Yeah. Day nineteen. I'm actually <laughs> February nineteenth. I'm actually on the day. Yay! I'm caught up. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um. I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.